so this is a quite easy problem what is the unsaturation factor for c for h10 o so unsaturation factor will be 4 into 2 8 plus 2 10 and we have 10 hydrogen so 10 minus 10 divided by 2 so unsaturation factor is 0 so this means this compound does not can it does not contain any ring or a double bond so no double bond so now things are very simple you have to draw the all isomerical cohen and you can do this one so you have four carbon no double bond and you have to put the OH group you have to consider the stereochemistry also so let us take some time Okay, see, so we can have four carbon that is in a straight. Now I can put first time OH group at carbon number one, second time at carbon number two. Now, if I put here, that is same as this, so there is no point of putting this OH here in the third case. Now, let us say branching. So this is 1. Now if I do one branching of 1 carbon, 1, 2, 3. So let us put the branching. And now we have two kind of options, either this or this. So if I put OH here, I will have one isomer. If I put OH here, I will have another isomer. This is a basically tertiary alcohol. And this will be primary alcohol and this will be a secondary alcohol and this is again a primary alcohol so you are getting four isomeric alcohol now this isomer this carbon is chiral carbon this side I have CH3 group and this side I have CH2 CH3 group this side had rosal so this carbon is a chiral carbon so this will exist as well as D as well as L so plus minus so for this compound we will have enantiomers so this will exist as a optically active so this will exist as enantiomers so enantiomers are you getting so how many total h isomers we have so we have one and then high here i will have two and three because they are mirror image to each other 2 and 3 and he, this is let us say 4 and this is carbon one, compound number 5 so basically there are 5 isomers that are possible so we have to consider the optical isomers also ok let us discuss the next problem